This episode is about uh, Evert now going down to Durban. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am originally from Durban. So this episode is pretty much about our trip down there. <laughs> so the plan was Thursday was a public holiday so that would be the Thursday we're writing down the Thursday we would arrive the Friday um, we would go down to the beach or something the Saturday we would also just be hanging around and we're riding back on Sunday 27th, the plan was get up at 3, 4, ride at 4 o'clock, I get to Evert's house late, and we leave eventually at 5. It's 5 o'clock, and my boy and I, we're heading off to Durban. So how's it, boy? It's going to be fucking cold. Yeah, it's going to be very cold. We got a bit of a boys weekend down to Derbs on the box. Looking forward to it. Chat you guys later when the sun's up. Jeez. Alright, so we're here in uh, near Feliz. <laughs> oh, I'm freezing my ass off. Are you alright little bag? You're going nowhere. Nowhere! <sighs> I thought you were going to take me into the woods and chop my body up. <laughs> this is the first fuel stop. Yeah, look at those bikes. Yeah. Boy, how cold was it this morning? Well, we had to pull over to defrost our hands on the exhaust. Yeah. I started losing the feeling in my braking hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a good thing. So. <laughs> No, it's still morning. It's probably about six now, hey? Yeah. In the mist. The end for Leeds is crazy. Yeah, look at those bikes. Damn. Fun next stop's Harry Smith. I don't know. Traffic's not too bad, to be honest. But uh, the sunrise is definitely welcoming because I think we were riding at like minus 5, maybe even minus 10 degrees this morning. Look at that mist. She needs to come on! Where are we now, boy? I actually don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just before is, Van Rienen. Yeah, this is the, the stop, the Caltex, just before the Van Rienen pass. And uh, there's a little BMW S1000R and then the two RRs next to it. Yeah! And traffic's hectic, so. Next stop, Howick. Oh, how's this view? So beautiful. There, my boy. Such a stunning view for miles and miles that you can check. Wow. Kata is one stop, eh? Boy? We're just in 230 k straight. My ass is numb. My ass is numb. Hands can feel it. Shoulders can feel it. Yeah, definitely. 
my butt is definitely sore. I think Durban's like 60 k's away, and then we're gonna just go and have a bit of a chow or something. See you guys there. Okay, we're going off on the M2, yeah. Oh my word, it is so hot. And we've arrived. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm having a little cold one. We had uh, Joe Cools there, check. Anyway, boy. Yeah, we've made it. Yeah. We still it on the hands. Still on the buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> We do a whole trip down to the coast and we finally arrive in Devon. Um, we fly the drone around a little bit and we wait for Nolan to arrive. And little teabag and I, we've arrived at uh, our accommodation, well, my mate's place, Nolan, in Durban. There's it over there with the little bad boys behind us. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so it's been a long day. We just want to get out of our jeans and uh, yeah, just chill and have a drink or two and uh, it's been a very cool adventure. Tomorrow we're thinking about going to the South Coast Rally. South Coast Rally. We haven't planned it. We actually just came down to Durban to come down to Durban. But uh, yeah, we're just kind of thinking, let's just do it. You know, Bangkok Hotel, Prime Circle, all those are like playing, so I may as well go support. And uh, it's, it's a bike rally as well, so it's a festival rally, so it's going to be awesome. Or uh, we can just go down to Margate and just decide what we're going to do. How was the ride, boy? It was shorter than expected. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because we were flying at the speed of light. Yeah. Knowles, give us a, yeah. a few wise words. Welcome, welcome back to Derbs Cliff, this is your hometown. Yeah. And nice to see you, my man. Jeez, boy, you never get shorter. Jeez. <laughs> Knowles is uh, hospitality. Manning the bra. Yeah. Knowles is manning the bra. He's awesome. Check, I look like a circus midget next to him. <laughs> <laughs> check your, check your way like Get that. Let me see the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> Wait. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> that night Howie really really surprised us with um, some amazing amazing crayfish tails because he's a, a diver so he made this amazing dish and it was absolutely delicious it was very cool Howie what did you bring us boy? some lacquer big Great monster yeah. east coast <laughs> rock lobster <laughs> Take some pickies though, right? yeah no. show the, the, the loot the legal catch of the day. The legal, the legal or illegal? No, no the legal. The legal, legal catch of the day. <laughs> Only got eight. Eight is legal limit. Tolls. Hey, you're looking straight. Tell us I'm what you what you're making us there. Crayfish butterfly tails. The freeway. With herb garlic butter. But then you're buying to the garage. Oh my word! Oh, that that get, looks delicious. I'm about to add the Jameson. I'm about to add the Jameson on top. Yeah. No. Next level. Just before you start. So this is the morning after. So we decided not to go down to Margate. We've decided to actually stay in Durban today. The following day, we decided to go down to the beach or to Wilson's Wharf um, to go and have a meal. After that, I flew the drone in the harbor. Um, it was really, really cool. Um, some of the footage is really, really great. It was very windy as well. So off to Wilson's Wharf for uh, a few meals and so on. So all good. Smash a couple of beers. Smash a couple of L's, yeah. See some sun. Um, after that, we decided to go to Reno's or Remo's um, to catch up with some of uh, Nolan's mates. And um, we just sat there and had a good glass, good couple of glasses of wine. It was very festive. And yeah, we were just pining to Mumford and Sons. Um, Yvette and I had some <clears throat> good experiences there at Reno's. Bastard. A little sneaky bastard. Where are we, boy? We at Reno's. Yeah. Pumping some Mumford and Sons. Yeah. And look at all these little tea bags. Yeah. So we. 
Yeah. Someone to put this sign here. Please place face cloths in the basket and not in the toilet. Yes. Okay, now we've woken up. I just hear things breaking in the background. I'm getting worried. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. Boom. The following day, we going to ride down to Hibberdeen where we were invited to go to Hibberdeen so it was never a planned weekend it was always just let's just see what happens so how we had invited us down to his um, basically like a beach house down the coast and my bike broke down for some reason um, you about an hour riding and the bike just I was riding I stopped switched off the bike to, to look at some directions on the phone to see if we were on the right path and for some reason I put you know, give the bike power and then the bike just died. There was no power, it didn't want to start. It was almost like the battery was flat. So we go on the highway on the N2 and we take the next R102 turn off. N2 south. Okay. Start. Why don't we push start it? I don't uh... So, boy, what is the cause of this nonsense? Just wheeling too much. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> we seem to have lost a little cable that runs some of the electronics. Yeah. So. BMW suggests that we keep the rubber side down and they are coming to rescue us quickly because <laughs> we're not mechanics. Yeah, so but, yeah. so we're stuck on the R102 on the way down to Stanger, Maritzburg, yeah, and Derbs, and we're going down to Toti. So yeah, now we got to wait for BMW. Ah! So we called BMW, they came out, they were so prompt, um, the dude was awesome. Before he even got to us, we'd managed to just start the bike. I think the bike had just seemed to have been a bit flooded or something. I'm not sure, but the bike started and the bike had been running fine after that. So the call out to BMW, I paid the guy just to come and arrive, look at the bike and then leave. So yeah, BMW, you owe me some cooties. So uh, this is Chris from BMW. <laughs> He's kind of sorted us out. But kind of not sort of sad. The bike is just started now, so. No, well, thanks, Chris, for coming too. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, man. We're gonna hit Toti now. Let's do it. Yell. Man from Toti, and we're on this coastal road, the R102. There's the ocean. Um, yeah, so we eventually arrive in Hibberdeen um, and yeah, the festivities start. Returned on the Sunday, because Monday was a public holiday as well. And yeah, I took some amazing footage of the um, Fenrenans Pass and I took some great footage of, of us on the beach at uh, Hibberdeen. So I hope you guys enjoy it.
Huh? Yeah? I'm sore. Yeah, me too. We're back in Joburg. We've just arrived. We are tired. We are sore. And there are the two bikes. Yeah. Well, in the middle ones, our friend Dave's. It's been a really long and hard ride today. We didn't really take any footage except with the drone at Van Renan's Pass. But it's good to be back in Joburg and uh, yeah, that's it for this one. See you on the next one. Okay, my boy. Lekker. That was lekker.